Well, hello, welcome to Izzy's Tarot. Thank you for coming to my channel. You could have been anywhere, but you came to my channel. And for that, I'm always extremely grateful. Thank you so much. I'm going to do a Gemini September love prediction reading. Please keep in mind this is a general read. If it's not your story, it's not your story. Don't try to make it your story. In addition, please know this energy can go either way. It can be your energy, your significant other's energy, or someone else that's in your love space energy as well. Keep that in mind as you watch and as you listen. If you enjoy my reading, please give me a subscription or a like. I'm always most humbled, most honored, and very grateful if you decide to do that. Let's see what's going on with my centric, loving, kind, loyal, sweet Geminis. I come from a family full of Geminis who I love dearly. They know who they are. So thank you. Thank you. Please show me, Spirit guys, what's going on with my Jimmies? What's going on with my loving, kind, sweet Jimmies? Show me what's going on with my Gemini Spirit guys. Let's see, Geminis, what you got going on. World, Page of Swords, Four of Cups, Nine of Cups, Ten of Swords. Well, you kick off your reading with the World card, which means completeness. You've completed a cycle of something. There's a cycle of something that you've completed. I don't know what it is, but something that you have completed within a relationship. It's a cycle of something that you have completed. And I do believe you have completed this cycle. But not only that, you're telling everybody how you have completed. And you're letting, either you're using Instagram, Facebook, webs, I don't know, telling stories. Uh, you are communicating because my page of source means communication on all levels. You have completed a cycle with something or someone in a relationship and you are letting everyone know. They know that you've completed the cycle because somehow you are communicating that to them. I don't know if it's direct conversation. I don't know if it's text. I don't know if it's um, Instagram, Facebook. I don't know. But somehow you're telling someone that you have completed a cycle that you may have had with them. Now here, this whole reading in the middle. It's the Four of Cups. And to me, the Four of Cups is all about you. It's holding back. It's, it's my selfish card. And, and I say that in a good sense because, Gemini's, I think you really, really need this now. This is what I'm seeing because Four of Cups means you're not giving your love to anyone totally. You're holding back a little bit of love for yourself. I don't know why, what has happened, but that is what that Four of Cups means. Then you have the Nine of Cups, which means to me it's really a, you're content now. And when I say content, you're content in whatever state you're in, whatever you're doing. You are content. You are content here. And the Ten of Swords means that you have ended this. Um, and I said you be, at the beginning, you start, you've ended a cycle here. But you've also ended possibly a relationship. I don't know. But you've ended um, something that wasn't good for you. You've learned how to pull back. You've learned. And I'm not saying that it wasn't absolutely not good for you. But it was something that hurt you deeply. And you've now pulled back. And you're now content in your own zone. And that Ten of Swords means it has ended. That, that whatever that hurt is, it has ended. So let's see. Um, show me, spirit guides. I am going to clarify the cards. The first five cards just give you a general overview. The next part of the read is where I clarify the reading so that you can get um, the story that the spirit guides really want me to tell you. So if you got some time, if you can, sit back and relax. And if this is your read, and listen to the reading and see what the spirit guides want me to tell you. So why is the world here? Show me, spirit guides. Why is the world here? Show me why the world is here, spirit guys. Oh, your cards want to fall, fall out. Okay, show me why is the world here for my Gemini's. Ah, oh, you have the nine of wands. Whatever this was, whatever relationship this was, whatever uh, you were in, you were very persistent and insistent to make sure that you completed this cycle. You didn't want any open ends. You wanted to make sure that this cycle was completed. The world card means completeness and the nine of wands means persistent, insistent. You're, you don't care. You are going to complete this cycle regardless of whatever it takes. You are very persistent and insistent about completing this cycle. Let's see why the page of swords is here for you. Show me why the page of swords is here. Ah, uh, strength card could be a Leo person too. But the strength card means that you want them to understand. You want them to be on the same page as you. In other words, you want them to know. If there's going to be no ifs, ands, or buts that this 
um, that what you have done is completed this cycle with them. You want them to understand that, and you're showing that like them that, like I said, through communication. You are you are want them to be on the same page with you. You want them to understand it. You don't want them to have any questions about it, and that's what that strength card means. You are trying to get someone to be on the same page as you are. Then you have the Four of Cups. And let's see why the Four of Cups is here. Why is the Four of Cups here? Show me, Spirit, guys. Oh, Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, well, Nine of Pentacles is my single card. I told you this is all about you, right? I told you that's a selfishness. When you have, And not a bad selfishness. I don't think Four of Cups is bad. I think that you've pulled back. And now you're in that lane of Nine of Pentacles where it's all about you. Where it's about your money. It's about what you want to do. It's about your thinking. You have become independent of someone else. You have completed the cycle. You have become independent of someone else. You have now spread away. You are now on your own thoughts, your own thought process, and you know what you want. And you know what you want to do. Let's see why the Nine of Cups is here. Why is this Nine of Cups here? Show me, Spirit Guides. Oh, Ace of Pentacles. Oh, my goodness. This is saying that um, because you are content, because you have pulled back, because you have your own independent thinking, um, there's going to be an abundance of money coming in. Somehow there's an abundance of money. The gods are shining on you because the Ace of Pentacles means an abundance of money. And this comes because with this Nine of Cups, you are content with yourself. You're no longer worrying about something else, but you have an abundance of money that I see coming. So let's see why the Ten of Swords is here. Show me. Why is this Ten of Swords here? Wow. Wow, Gemini. Oh, so because you completed this, ended this, heart, this heartache is over, this hurt, whatever this was. This is a very, Ten of Swords is not a good place to be in. And you have ended something but you got the Ten of Cups on top of that Ten of Swords. So that really negates that Ten of Swords. That just clears that out. That means you're going to have happiness. You're going to, there's something that's coming to you that's totally happy. I know you're going to get abundance of money, whatever you're doing. But you're also going to have happiness, happy home, happy life, happy uh, mindset, happy heart set. That's what you, um, that's exactly what you have coming. Let's see. Let's start at the beginning of the world. You completed a cycle here. Like I said, nine of wands, you're persistent and insistent with this. You didn't care. You were going to make sure that you completed it. Now, not only that with the page of swords, which is the next card here, that means that you are letting whomever, whatever know. That they no longer have this hold on you. You're letting them know they no longer have a hold on you. You're communicating with them via Facebook, Instagram, however, uh, love notes, text messages, I don't know. But you want them to understand because that strength card is there, which could be a Leo person. That strength card is there because you're letting them know under no uncertain terms, whatever this is, you no longer have that excuse me, that they no longer have that hold on you. You are being here with the Four of Cups. You're pulling back. You're, you're single again with this Nine of Pentacles. You have your own independent thoughts, your own independent money, your own independent thought process. And then you, the Four of Cups, like I said, is just holding back. Not, not that you don't have the capacity to love, but you're saying, no, let me take some for me. Let me, uh, let me be about me right now. And then you have the Nine of Cups, which means you're content. And that contentment brings about abundance and money. Then you have the Ten of Swords here, which is a very deep, dark card for me. But you have the Ten of Cups on top of that Ten of Swords, which means that you're going to have a heart space, a great heart space coming up. There's something really positive for you coming up. Um, Family-wise, I don't know, money-wise, but there's something very positive coming up for you. You Since you ended something, that you ended this deep, dark space, and now you have the Ten of Cups that's coming. What a great read. Let me see what the angel oracles. Give me an angel oracle card so I can tell you what the angels want me to tell you. What does the angel oracles have to say about this relationship that you may have had? Let's see. What do they say? Wow. They say raise your vibration. That's very important. They say raise. That's the first time I've ever pulled that card. Raise your vibration. In other words, don't sink back down into where you were with this Ten of Swords. 
They're saying raise your vibration. And if you raise your vibration, then you're going to get this goodness. You're going to get this money. You're going to get this goodness. If you just keep your vibration raised and not down in the dumps. That's what I have for you for your love prediction reading for Gemini.